Yep, let's go. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Good dawn. Good whatever. Wherever you find yourself on the continent, this is another episode of Demystify Tech with Sam. Now, as you know, on Fridays we try to demystify different forms of technology, specifically on the Microsoft ecosystem. So today, in today's episode, we are going to be demystifying and taking a first look at the Microsoft Bot Framework Composer. Yep. So if you're a fan of creating chatbot, conversational bot, and you want to go the no code or less code, you know, more power approach, well, they can stay with me. When we come back, I would be showing you how to do that. But first, here is our intro. Sam, we're back. If you're just joining us, this is the Mystify Tech with Sam. And in today's episode, we're going to kick off with an introduction into the Microsoft Bot Composer. Now, if you've been trying to create bots, conversational bots, AI chatbots, and all that, and you find, you know, going the code way a bit, you know, let's say frustrating or a little intimidating, well, you can try this too, which is um, kind of like an integration of all the coolest tools that Microsoft has to offer for you creating your bot before we get into it as usual you know how we do it i try to bring you some announcements of cool stuff that's going to happen in the community before we get to the main action so before we do that let me get right into it and kick started so the very first one i'm going to be talking about which is happening um next uh let me bring this here and zoom this up Yep, this is happening on the 29th. Now, this is being hosted by the Accra.net user group, myself and Frank, and others are co-hosting this. It's part of our monthly, you know, virtual meetups. It used to be monthly physical meetups. Now, we've made it monthly virtual meetups. So, we're hosting, yes, I think this deserves a round of applause. And, you know, an awesome, yeah, we have the man himself, uh, the man himself, the lead for C Sharp himself, joining us virtually to tell us a lot about um, what's happening in the uh, C-Sharp ecosystem, some cool stuff you can do. So don't miss it. Uh, that's the URL. I would also share it again on my social channels. Uh, so you want to go to this page, register, and then join us next Saturday. Uh, it's from 10 to 11, just like, you know, one and a half hours, very short. But there's a lot of interesting and cool stuff there for us. Now, let's go to the next one. And the next item we have, let's bring this up, also deserves, I think, you know, a very awesome round of applause and then a light mention. Yes. So the MCT West Africa group is hosting, is going to be hosting Cloud Bootcamp from the 5th September to the 24th of October. Yeah, this is going to be made up of, it's eight days, like weekly, uh, like every like weekends, 64 sessions, 64 speakers, 64 workshops. Think about it all happening virtually on Microsoft Teams. As you can see, these are the people that you might be seeing in there. Myself, Foying is there, Olaju Moke is there, Frank is there. The other people that come, this is just the first set. Um, so you're going to be seeing this mostly on my feed. Every week I'm going to be introducing, I'm going to be showing and giving out, you know, the list of people joining. So don't, you don't want to miss this for anything. Well, with this out of the way, I think... We can get rocking, all right? If you're watching me from any of the platforms, just um, give me a thumbs up, give me a hi. Let's see and let's feel what you think. So, well, with that said, let's get into what we are going to do today. We're going to be talking about Microsoft uh, Bot Framework Composer. Well, so if you have been um, in the bot eco, eco space, all right? or if you're being kind of like, a, how do we call it? If you're being interested in developing bots, all right, then you know that on the Microsoft ecosystem, it's the Microsoft Bot Framework. That is like a C-sharp, you can use C-sharp to write, you know, create like very interesting and very complicated and very um, interactive conversational bot. However, it comes with its own challenges. If you're not like a hardcore developer, it can be sometimes intimidating. 
even for us, you know, that have been programming for some time now, we find that sometimes you know you need to handle you know bits and pieces of everything when it comes to building the bot. So in today's episode, I think I chanced on this a couple of uh, weeks ago. I was like, wow, this is awesome. Now, a lot of people are, people are going to ask that. Okay, Samuel, what about you know virtual uh, Power Virtual Agent? Yes, Power Virtual Agent is another way to build conversational bot on the Power Platform. Cool thing, also leverages some 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 things from the bot framework. However, for the Power uh, Virtual Agent, uh, there's a bit of uh, I won't say disconnect, but what what you build on the Power Virtual Agent um, is you can you can do you can build a lot of things to some level of complexity. But what this does for you, what the bot uh, bot framework composer does for you, is it's using under the hood um, a lot of the you know the bot framework SDK. So you have access to all these things exposed to you. So what is this whole bot composer any which way? Well, from Microsoft documentation, they say it's a it's a visual designer. All right, it's it's a visual designer that lets you quickly and easily build sophisticated conversational bots. All right, without writing code. So if you're in the less code, more power, then power to you. This is a tool you need to take a look at. Even if you're a pro dev. This is a tool to also take a look at for rapid bot development, you know, to rapidly get your ideas and proof of concept out there. You can use this tool to do it. But to sum it up, it's it's basically it's a framework, all right. Uh it's it's a framework, which is also another cool thing is that it's open source. So this tool is open source. That means that it you can go download the source code and everything and build it and modify and do whatever you want to do with it. But it's an open source visual designer, right? Or authoring canvas. That lets you quickly and easily, you know, build sophisticated conversational bots. Technically, without writing any code, pretty much that. Now, the cool thing about this is that it actually integrates Lewis, which is Microsoft's language understanding intelligent services that allows you to, you know, be able to um, read intent, language understanding, processing, and all this, all the cool stuff. And then the Q&A maker, which is also like a cloud language understanding process module that Microsoft also has. That is able to translate your data into you know conversational um, um interactions so under the hood these are the key features of the bot framework composer one the visual editor canvas that allows you to create conversational flows two it has a tool to allow you to auto manage you know language understanding very easily using q a maker component the third thing is that it has a powerful language generation and templating system now what does this mean this means that it allows you as a developer to create close to human responses, you know, that your bot can give based on the lowest and other intelligence services that Microsoft has, has actually packed into this service. And then, so this is a distinguishing difference between this and the Power Virtual Agent. It actually has a ready to use bot runtime execution. All right. So how do we do this? Now, um, I want to talk about some key features of this thing. I want us to take a look at these, you know, like the key features before, you know, so I was mentioning the framework. Now, the key features, one, it has adaptive dialogues, all right? If you're new to adaptive, adaptive cards and dialogues, you need to check it out. It's another cool and awesome technology. So it uses adaptive dialogues, all right? Now, this provides for a way for the bot to manage the conversation with the user. All right now it also provides you an event model that is simplified uh for you to handle now then again under the hood it has a language understanding which is powered by lewis all right so it's able to you know distinguish between your utterances your intent your uh, entities and all that in it language understanding helps you to you know, do that the third component is language generation all right like i said it allows the system or your bot to generate grammatically correct responses and have consistent tone you know it gives your bot some character almost close to like a human interacting with your users all right then the fourth thing here is that incorporates q a maker if you've not tried q a maker and you're in the bot space go check it out you can pass it a url faq url and it'll pick that and then generate a conversation out you know kind of like a question and answer bot response for you and then for those that are familiar with the microsoft bot framework you are always you're also familiar with the emulator right that allows you to emulate your bot when you develop it now so question is that what is the key difference all right so you say that okay then what's the key difference between using the bot composer and just going my traditional way well key thing now these are differences first of all it uses adaptive dialogues 
so it allows you to generate this language right like close to human responses which is very not, i won't say hard but which takes a lot of time and a bit complicated to do directly in the board framework all right but that adaptive dialogues allow you to do this easily the second thing the visual designer surface eliminates the need for boilerplate code so if you're doing this you know using the bot sdk what's going to happen is that you needed to you know encode specify the templates of the responses for your bot but the visual you know designer or the visual interface eliminates the need to do this all right then the third one saves time because you have fewer steps a lot of these things are encapsulated and then you know you can enjoy the use of it so let's just get right into it now that we know what this whole board thing and all the craziness is about the next thing for 